and this is my new van. I've heard you're a boxer. I can't wait to get started. So stay tuned, see how I get up. So here we are going inside. It's not been cleaned yet. Big chunky doors with lots of uh, storage space. We've got the uh, three seat cab. The battery's under here. Two glove boxes. This middle one in particular has a USB and aux. Lots of overhead storage space, which is handy. Didn't have that in the old van. Lots of space in the front, little nooks and crannies to put all your bits and bobs. It is a Peugeot, so you spot no handbrake. The handbrake is down this side. And what is very good about this one is the center console. Six gears, aircon, heated front windscreen, CD player, Bluetooth, and all that. And it's got things like built in satellite navigation, you can look at your phone, your media, it's got parking sensors, and all bits in between. So I'm rather pleased with this one. It's got all the mod cons compared to my other one. It's even got a bulkhead already in, so the plan would be to probably put a window in that at some point. Needs a bit of a clean and tidy. It is a bit dirty. It does have a 12 volt thing here, and like I said earlier on, there is an aux and USB in there as well. One of the drawbacks, there appears to be only one cup holder, which is quite odd. We thought there'd be more cup holders in one of these vans. So I have to sort some out there. And it's on the passenger side, which is a bit of a nightmare. But there is substantive storage, both sides. And like I said, above as well. Right, let's have a look in the back. So this one's already come with uh, some form of flooring, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna probably rip out. And it does have some panel in. As you can see. So undecided yet. I might just cover that. Obviously when I put the insulation and things in. There is a vent as well. Already with it. The flooring has seen better days. So I'm not quite sure what to do with that yet. Obviously there's some sort of spill there. What is quite good about this one compared to my other van is there's a bulkhead and you can see here there's a space for me to cut out a window which is what I'm probably going to do and then put some curtains across but I'm going to leave the bulkhead in one security, two stealth mode and three probably warmth so all in all I am pretty happy with that and it's a lot bigger than the Transit. I can actually almost stand up in this. It's a touch wider and a touch longer. That's a quick spin around the van. I'm quite happy with it. It's a lot newer than my other van. There's a lot more mod cons on it. Uh, it's bigger and hopefully it won't get stolen this time. So if you like what you see, if you like my old videos or are new to the channel, I'm going to be converting this and I'm going to take you along for the ride. I'm a complete novice. I have started one before. There'll be a link in the description below to that playlist. Uh, that one got stolen. So this is my second attempt and hopefully I'll get to the end of this one. So if you want to see how I get on, click subscribe and look out for future episodes. Thank you. So. Let's have a look in the back. Should I open it first?